So I was reading this uh, Webster New World Dictionary of Culinary Arts, and this basically defines almost every, it has a definition for every food. So as I was skimming through it, I had saw one of my favorite foods that I really like to cook, and it was risotto. So let me, let me share you the, the, the true definition of risotto. It's a cooking method for grains, especially rice, in which the grains are lightly sautéed in butter, and then a liquid is gradually added. The mixture is simmered with nearly constant stirring until the still firm grains merge with the cooking liquid. It's a dish from nor northern Italy. Wow. So today I want to cook risotto Milanese, which is an Italian flavor risotto with saffron. So let's get the risotto. <sighs> Somewhere in my pantry I know I have some. Uh, no, not up top. No, it's not on the bottom. It's gotta be the middle shelf. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, all right. A Boreo rice. This is definitely a short green rice. It should be interesting. So for this recipe, you're gonna need like half of a cup. No, a fourth of a cup. Only because of the one one person, which is the chef, me. So yeah, Boreo rice, A-B-B-O-R-I-O. -B -B so obviously we need a, for this recipe we're gonna need chicken stock, butter, which is already starting to melt on me, cause it's hot over here. We're gonna need some salt, some pepper. I like to use spring onions in this dish. You know I need goat cheese. Some garlic, and of course, a little bit of heavy cream. So let's turn our pan on. Oh, how did I forget? Saffron. Okay. So let's put that over here. Alright. So let's just take some of this butter here, even though it's already melted, and pour it in the pan. Just only one little. And as you know, I like to mix a little bit of oil. Okay. And I always keep a container of water for my utensils. So yes, you want the fire to be very high, because we're going to constantly keep stirring. So as you can see, butter's starting to bubble. So we can throw in our spring onions. We are throwing our garlic. And let's get our spoon. So we just want to... Smell like garlic already. Just want to do it lightly. So we need our Boreo rice. If you only use a little bit, it shouldn't take you that long. It should take you maybe six minutes. So you basically just want to. You can pretty much hear it. You don't want to leave this unattended because it will burn. Now never use water for this because water has no flavor. Chicken stock has flavor. So we're going to add a little. Now they say a good chef can cook a Boreo without a, without a spoon, so I'm going to try it. So you want to constantly keep stirring until, it's, until the rice sucks up the liquid. So we're going to keep doing this. I'm just going to add a little at a time. You just want to you know, slowly keep mixing it in, and it's going to get really hot. As you can see, it's starting to bubble around the edges. Now, with risotto, you can add anything you want in here. You can add peas, you can add carrots, you can add peppers, you can add mushrooms. You can just basically take this recipe to any level you want. I really love goat cheese because it's just so creamy and it melts perfectly. You can use feta cheese, you can use mozzarella cheese, you can use American cheese. Use any cheese you want. A very classical dish here. It goes well with anything. In my next video, I'm gonna actually stuff it in a green pepper. It's so versatile. You always wanna keep shaking and stirring. 
So if you can zoom in a little, you'll see how the liquid is starting to absorb. Just want to be gentle. Now, this is probably enough for two people, actually. But I'm greedy, so I can hold this. See how the liquid is starting to dissipate? So now we just want to add just a little more liquid. And just keep stirring. I like to use spring onion because it gives the, the dish a little color. That should be enough stock, but it's always better to be more prepared than underprepared. Try to get everything off the edges because you don't want it to burn. Let me get my, my favorite spoon again. Alright. So make sure you have the side towel always. See how the liquid is still starting to absorb. So once it gets down to this level, that's when you know you want to add a little more liquid. Just a little at a time. Don't put too much. You could cook just almost any rice like this. He's always going to keep stirring. When I first learned how to make this in culinary school, I wasn't a fan of it because I was like, who wants to eat creamy rice? But it's so flavorful. I make it all the time. And try to stir too rough because then, like me, you'll be spilling all the rice over the pot. So just be gentle. Probably a subscriber emailing me another recipe. I do. Almost finished. Make sure the fire is always high. As you can see, the water is evaporating. And you have to constantly maintain. This is a dish you definitely can't walk away from in the kitchen. But if you do, the stuff will burn on you. Now at this stage, I always season. So you need a little salt. Some fresh, fresh, fresh pepper. Now, not too much salt, because... You know, the stock is always salty. See right here, I have like barely liquid in the pan. So now you know we're ready for some more. This is so tedious to make. Cooks really don't like making this dish. Every time you go to a restaurant, you order risotto. This is what the cook is doing for you. We scrape down the sides. I like to use like spoons that are flat like this because it's easy to get everything. I'm going to taste one piece to see if it's cooked. 